This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General. The 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana underscores children's right to education as part of media advocacy to demand accountability and responsiveness to basic education TV3 focused its lenses on the state of education infrastructure in Nabugubele Basic School cited in the Upper West region. At the time of the mission team's visit, inadequate teaching and learning material cast doubt over investment in education. Pupils performed the day's academic work on their labs. The floor served as a writing pad. Pupils lay prostrate on their bellies raising questions about the ability to compete with their counterpart in well-endowed schools. The situation impacts negatively on their handwriting, their health and also impose burden on parents as they have to spend more on soap for washing of their ward's uniforms. The situation was bad because it was the case that the children were lying on their stomachs or their chest was struggling to write but when the situation changed the children they come and they used to go home with uh, tiny uniforms dirty uniforms daily but when the situation changed we don't we don't uh, encounter that again pupils are eager to learn as they embrace the opportunity to impact society following education however they are confronted with challenges A class 5 pupil, Rashida, is grappling with inadequate furniture. Three of Rashida's female friends have dropped out of school, making them vulnerable to teenage pregnancy. She is unhappy about the deplorable state of infrastructure. Anytime we sit on the floor, it always makes our dress dirty. So we have to wash it before we bring it to school again. People will say, see this girl, you don't, anytime you dress, we will always dirty. It's not my fault. If the desk was there, and my dress would not have been dirty. Head teacher of the school, Abdul Niburmaka, was concerned. Let me just say, the whole of primary, there's no furniture. And as we know, in, uh, when there's no furniture, the children come to school, they sit on the floor, even how to write it becomes a problem. Their uniforms get dirty and torn uh, most of the time. It's really an issue that is affecting uh, teaching and learning the various schools. demand responsiveness from duty bearers, TV3 mission team shared evidence on the lack of furniture with the municipal chief executive for Sisala East, Fuseni Yakubu Batong, who pledged to remedy the situation in schools highly in need of furniture. He assured of budgetary allocation for furniture procurement. The challenge of furniture is actually an eyesore. I went to some of the schools and I have seen the challenge they are facing. In our next year's budget, we are putting closer to 400 pieces of furniture to be uh, added. Apart from that, we have said that any time we are now building a school, it must go with a, a set of furniture. More than two months following TV3's report on deplorable infrastructure, an ungovernmental organization has supplied furniture to support education at Nabugubele, the Ministry of Education also complemented with some furniture that has completely eradicated the situation of people sitting and doing academic works on the floor. But the situation was serious because children lie on the floor and how to write is here at uh, the lower and upper primary level, even as far as, uh, as far back to uh, level, the 
furnitures are not enough. Being in Form 3, and, and you don't have a furniture to sit and write, you can imagine how you learn. You can learn effectively. Teachers and pupils are hopeful of improved educational outcomes. We are now comfortable when you go to class to teach as a head teacher to observe because children are well seated with the support of Education 360 and then the municipal assembly, they support that with furniture. Even though they are not up to the number we want, but the situation has drastically reduced and the teaching and learning is going on well. You know, lying on the floor to learn and sitting on the decks, there are total difference. On your first visit to this particular school, we are having a lot of challenges and the most infamous one was the, uh, in regards to the furniture. Yes, and after uh, you made the report on TV3 Mission Ghana, uh, the M Honorable M uh, MP, Member of Parliament, step, uh, came in and supported with a lot of furniture. Then afterwards, Education 360, an NGO based in Accra, came later and also supported. I think what happened was that they came and renovated our KG block. They painted it and then finished it with furniture and TLMs for the KG classrooms. The head teacher Abdul Nimburumaka lauded TV3 mission for its media advocacy in education service delivery. Our educational director, he was here. We made a, a request that they should help us with a bohole. And in fact, in less than a month, the bohole was drilled for the other school, because there are two schools, A and B. Uh -huh. So when they were separated, they were lacking water. So I do not even been this, okay, uh, I mean, opportunity. It would have been a long time that we we'll get such an opportunity. So we must say that we are grateful to uh, 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 TV3, Mission Ghana. We are happy and thank TV3 and Education 360 for your intervention. In fact, it's Almighty Allah who can pay and replenish your efforts here for us. At the beginning, people were actually thinking the other way. But when they saw the impact of your intervention and the interview, in fact, they applauded and even wish you come every day. Let me put it that way. Uh, yes. Municipal Chief Executive for Sisala East, Hussein Yakubu Batong, reiterated government commitment to invest in basic education. The situation is all over the municipality. But however, we are also trying as much as possible to be able to improve the situation. And as I speak, uh, as a father of the municipality, even though we have not been able to fully give a certain place for every child in the municipality, but I think the situation has improved. And specifically to Nabu Bele, when you came and uh, you asked me, I mentioned that there was a deliberate uh, policy for us to be able to, because the school was built under Get Farm, but the furniture component was not there. And so that was brought my attention and I promised we were going to support the school with furniture. Improved investment in basic education, particular in deprived communities, present opportunities, especially for the girl child. This reduces risk factors that contribute to teenage pregnancy and school dropout. This documentary is funded by the Star Ghana Foundation with support from Media General.